This is CNN. All right, so it's the beginning of the new year. Maybe you're hoping to drop a couple LBs, but here's a diet you may not plan for at all or uh, one that might actually work. A high school biology teacher in Iowa says he lost 37 pounds in three months by eating all three meals each and every day at McDonald's. His name is John Cisna. He says he did it by making sensible choices and by exercising. He says it is not fast food that's making Americans unha unhealthy. It's our eating habits. The point behind this documentary is that, hey, it's choice. We all have choices. It's our choices that make us fat, not McDonald's. Let's talk about this with uh, Rachel Beller. She is a nutritionist joining me in Los Angeles. She uh, is the author of Eat to Lose, Eat to Win. And you just heard him, Rachel, talking about choices. D does he have a point? I mean, he lost all this weight here and he didn't go above 2,000 calories. Was that okay? Yeah. Um, I think it's fine. It is about choices. At the end of the day, you can choose unhealthy foods at a fast food restaurant or healthy foods, and it's a caloric game plan. You know, if you're going to reduce your calories, you're going to lose weight. He did the breakfast, so, lunch, and uh, dinner You know, thing. is it the healthiest way to go? Yeah, yeah. You wouldn't, you wouldn't necessarily yes, I mean, think he did golden arches and healthy, but he, he did this. I, you know, when you think about this, apparently he did do this to, to counteract that, that Morgan Spurlock documentary, Super Size Me. Um, but, but is this something you would recommend? I imagine it was pretty cheap. Uh, is this something you would recommend to clients? I would recommend going on an action plan to help one lose weight. Would I necessarily recommend having a yogurt parfait with nearly six uh, lollipops worth of sugar? I wouldn't. But what John did is incredible. And it sends such an incredible message about making choices and about taking on an action plan and sticking to it. He did something the average American is struggling to do and can't do. So I think it's incredible. And I think my advice to him at this point would be to upgrade it to even more nutrient rich foods. Hmm. And uh, now that he's proven that he can do it, he and, can stick to a plan. And right. that speaks volumes. And not only that, because I was certainly so wondering, weird. okay, he lost the weight, but you know, if you're really looking inside of his arteries and apparently he, his cholesterol dropped as well. So the fact that he does have more options at a fast food chain like McDonald's, would this just further validate the notion that these places should offer the parfaits, the salads, et cetera? Yes, yes, you can make better choices even at McDonald's. They have salads, they have oatmeal, you know, and it's your choice whether you're going to pile on the brown sugar. But he chose not to, which is really incredible. And he didn't do it in a vacuum. He exercised mm -hmm. and he lost an average of three pounds a week, which is incredible. Mm -hmm. So, yes, I think it's great what he did. Um, would I necessarily recommend the diet for the long run? No, I'd probably say, look, this is a good jump start, a good way to start the year, but I would then focus on more nutrient rich, less okay. sugar, less processed, and uh, wholesome foods. And you can do that on a budget. Okay. Rachel Beller, thank you very much.